When I do a bunch of videos on a guitar and I don't post that final video, you guys hate me. And I see it in the comments all the time. So this is the completed Jazzmaster guitar with the extra thick body, the short scale 24 inch neck. I put on my ratio tuners. I used a very different bridge. It's called a Babcheck, I think. Babzek. Uh, I'm Polish. I should know how to say that. I think it's Babcheck. Real interesting bridge. He calls it a full contact bridge. And there are actually no two screws holding up the height adjustment. The height adjustment is done from a screw on the back side. You can see it here in this close up video. When you turn the screw, there's a little uh, lever in here that pushes the saddle height a little bit higher. Really interesting concept. One of the mistakes I made as I was putting this together, I thought this was a top mount bridge. I realized it wasn't. So I had to take this back over to the drill press, punch two screws through the sides here, flip over the guitar body, and then drill out for the string for all these. So that was one of the mistakes. I prefer to have that done before I finish. Didn't, no big deal. Uh, I had one little scratch from doing that that way because I was flipping it back and forth. I just sanded out and applied a little bit more true oil. Uh, usually wiring up a guitar and completing it takes about two and a half hours. I started filming that whole process for you guys and it's tedious and boring and you can't really see. I try to keep my wiring really clean and I take my time. On this Clara Walnut top, I needed to thin the top slightly, so when I routed this out, I came back with a drill bit and widened out those drill bits. What I really didn't want to do was route this all really thin with the Claro, and then as I was putting this stuff in, I could have popped through because Claro is a burl, it's got all different grain lines. So I, I prefer to do it this way, that way I've got the full top and then only a little piece that is thinner used an orange drop cap I've got lace humbucker pickups in here three-way switch and then I feed this through I tried a bunch of different jacks and then I finally had to go to Stu Mac and order the jack the electro socket jack that actually fits in and you screw in from the side and that's pretty flush I had it better before I had to pull it out and make an adjustment so I'm going to readjust that Overall, the guitar is really nice. It's a little bit heavier than I would expect. I thought carving the arm and hollowing it out, it'd be just a tad lighter. Jazzmaster's a little bit of a bigger guitar body, so that's one of the reasons. With this Warmoth neck, I didn't put a finish on it. I just used it natural. I kind of like that feel of the sanding sealer. I may put a coat of true oil on it later. I don't know, we're just gonna let it sit and play around. The body, when you're sitting down is a little bit hard to play. The big curves don't give you the greatest feel when you're standing and playing. It is so comfortable. So I've got to put the strap locks on it yet, but I was just playing with it. And I love the curves. I love the coloring. I love the way this looks. I normally play sitting down. So for me, that's a little bit of a problem, but I'll be all right. I did not end up using those extra epoxy pieces for the knobs, just ran out of time, so I had these silver ones that are flush. I've got the coil split on here, and these sit right flush up against the body. I used Graftech string trees on here, install net is a breeze. Usually I go slightly below the fifth string and then slightly below the third string. Drilled those out, that was relatively quick. I was having some problems with the bridge pickup. For some reason, it's way silent. I don't know if it's dead um, or something's wrong with it, but we'll give it a whirl here for you guys. You can listen to my crappy playing. This is the bridge. <laughs>
Here's the neck. It's just way more silent than I would have thought. And here's the coil tap. So it's just something's off with it. I mean, that's the knack, and it's rocking. I mean, even the coil tap doesn't take that much bite off of it. Pretty happy with this, guys. A little bit heavier than I would have liked. Uh, the action on this took a little bit of adjusting. I'm using heavy bottom strings, 52, 42, and a 30, and then a 17, 13, and 11. So that heavier string gauge really pulled the neck out of whack. So I had to let that sit for a couple days, then come back and make a truss rod adjustment. The action is really nice. It's actually pretty low. Uh, so I'm just going to leave it. I thought maybe I'd go back to the lighter string gauge for the lower. Uh, but it sounds awesome. I've only got to make a slight adjustment. I think on the G string it maybe needs to come up just a little bit. Cutting the nut, like I, like I always do, I've got a really extensive video on that where I just get the slots done and then I come back after I make that final truss rod adjustment and then finalize it. The fish string here is a little bit high at the nut still, so I can pull that down now. The trick with doing a setup on a brand new guitar is to do it slowly, do it over a week or two so you can make your fine, perfect adjustments. You don't want to go ahead and do the full setup, cut the nut, set up the string height, because that neck is going to react slightly depending on the string gauge. So I just do it in stages, I'll get the neck on, I'll get the strings on, and then I'll let it sit, tune it up, see what that relief is needed after a couple days, make the adjustments, and then be done. So, like I said, I don't do the full video, I will bore you guys to death on the full uh, setup, the voiceover I would just drone on, kind of like I'm doing in this video now. Happy with the way this turned out, really neat looking color scheme, really neat guitar. Plays awesome, I'll have to figure out what's going on with this bridge pickup, but thanks for watching guys, we'll see you in the next video.